Hey guys, it's Ben here, and for those Liverpool fans that wanted the Reds to sign a new striker this summer, today hasn't been the best day of news. Firstly, Borussia Dortmund striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is set to snub Liverpool and Chelsea and he is heading to China, according to Sport Bill. Looks like Chinese Super League outfit Tianjin Quanjian have won the race for his signature. Now, as soon as the reports came out about a week and a half ago that the Reds were interested in Aubameyang, there was lots of excitement. It looked like it would have made sense. The fee would have been around £63 million, which isn't outrageous for a guy that scored 31 goals last season and has been consistent for years now. But it appears that he and Jurgen Klopp did not see eye to eye during their time at Dortmund. And contrary to various reports, there has been no interest for Liverpool all summer in Aubameyang. He looked set for PSG a few weeks ago, Chelsea have also been linked, and it is a shame to see this striker leave Europe. I'm in no position to question his motives as to why he wants to go to China. I think a lot of people will have their opinion on why exactly he's going there. A £26.5 million pounds a year salary certainly won't harm, but it looks like he'll be linking up with Alexandra Pato and Axel Witzel at the club. And the even bigger long shot was Kylian Mbappe, but it looks like he will either go to Real Madrid or stay at Monaco this summer. Now this is a player that Liverpool have actually shown interest in this summer, and that has been confirmed by the Mezzi reporters but the Echo have said today that the chances of getting him are remote and that they think he'll either stay put or move to the capital of Spain. It's good that Liverpool obviously wanted to be involved in the conversation for this player but ultimately it was never really going to happen. Don't think any Reds fans can really complain about us even having a look at him but it's been reiterated that a forward will not be Jurgen Klopp's priority this summer and I know that will anger a lot of fans. I know that a lot of people aren't sure about whether Liverpool's firepower in attack has enough to it this season to really compete for the Premier League title. Roberto Firmino takes the number nine shirt and probably leads the line. Daniel Sturridge will still be kicking around and if he can stay fit he'll be a great option and there's Divock Origi and probably Danny Ings who looks likely to stick around himself. So no Aubameyang, no Mbappe, no marquee centre forward for Liverpool this summer. They were the only team in the Premier League top seven last season to not have a striker that scored 20 goals. Should that have been something that Klopp addressed with a centre forward this summer or will Mohamed Salah and an addition in midfield be enough? A centre back, a left back and a central midfielder may well be the only business Liverpool do between now and the end of August. I do agree that a centre back and a centre mid are very important especially with Henderson's fitness concerns and if Moreno leaves and of course we're doing the backup left back but it would have been really nice to see someone like Aubameyang or Lacazette or Timo Werner or Moussa Dembele a striker that's been firing in the goal someone that's exciting someone that gives you something different a bit more pace up front as well but it appears that that's not to be how do you guys feel about the fact that Liverpool are going to miss out on Aubameyang and Bap not even going to go for Lacazette or anybody else is Roberto Firmino good enough to be Liverpool's number nine do we have enough up front to really challenge Chelsea Man City Spurs Arsenal Man United this season and really have a good go at winning the league and doing well in the cups for me I I think the defence is obviously more important, that's where the issues have been for years. But having said that, I am still a little disappointed that we're not going to go out and spend big on that centre forward. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff, like the video, share it for me, and follow my other socials, it's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, and I'll see you next time.